Hello there everybody, so about a night to wake Emmer, and welcome back to Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Now then! Where we last left off, we are now in the control room with Luna and Fi. Really, the only characters I actually like right now. Okay, I guess this can be the first thing we look at. What is this thing? It's huge. I would guess it's used to analyze things. It looks like it's missing a part, though. Hmm. That's a tall screen. I don't think it's turned on. Maybe it can't get power for some reason? Hmm. Okay. This looks like it's the control panel. It's covered with screens and buttons and so on. Okay. Can I not look at any of this? No, it looks like everything is just the exact same thing. Oh, thank you, I can finally look at this. Test clipboard. There's a piece of paper on that clipboard. It says, test. Each letter is written in a different color. The T is green, the E is blue. The S is yellow, and the second T is pink. They all look like they've been written with a highlighter. Hmm. <clears throat> a laptop. It's got something on the screen. A green T. It's the letter T. Huh. Did you see that thing plugged into the side of the laptop? Yeah, looks like it's a memory stick. A USB scanner. Oh, it's got some red on there too. I don't think this is a memory card. What? Unless I miss my guess, it's actually a portable scanner. See, there's a thin slot, the slit, slit on the end. Just wave that part over any images or text you want to scan. Then you can just plug it back into the laptop. And look at whatever you scanned. Neat. Whoa, hello. Huh? The screen changed. Do you think it's because you pulled that thing out? Well, tell me when I pull it back in. Ooh, oh hey, the screen's blue now. This is... Uh, wait, seriously? What? I... I bit... I already got a password? Okay. But... Uh... Um... Okay. I mean... I, <laughs> you won't hear me complain, but... Damn. I'm not even ten minutes in and I already found a freaking password. Okay. Sun, star, moon. That was... That was weird. You think this is for the panel on the safe? I assume so. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's see what that password was for. Shall we? Uh... Where is the safe? Oh, safe! There you are. A safe. It looks like the ones I saw in the AB room in the infirmary. So if we put in a password, it should open. Looks like it works the same too. Okay. This has got to be the secret password, right? Is it? Holy fuck, I got the gold one that quick?! Well, fuck. Okay. Well. Huh. Why was that the easiest one to find? Holy shit. Looks like there's a few different books here. We've got some sort of we got some sort of dense technical thing and a novel. Hmm. Doesn't look like there are any clues here though. Hmm. Anything in the boxes? A cord a cardboard box. Filled with 
complicated machinery. <laughs> Do you think we can use it? I don't even know what it is. Hmm. Oh, what have we here? Uh, pff, the same damn thing. Okay. What the hell? 11,400 seconds. A red clock. It says 11,400 sec on the face. Not sure why. Hmm. Hi. Numbers clipboard. Hmm. Now it's green. These are all wrapped in PP bands. PP bands? Rope made of polypropylene. 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 Blah, 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 blah. Okay. More goodies we can steal. Is that a protractor? Son of a bitch, I got myself a, protra a protractor. Hmm. And. Looks like there's something in the bo blue box. Let's see what it is. A compass. A compass. One leg has a needle, the other leg has a pencil. Oh man, I was I was a kept accidentally stabbing myself with one of these back in high school. <laughs> Do you think we're supposed to use this for something? Well, usually you use a compass to draw circles. <laughs> Where should we draw a circle though? On a piece of paper, I would assume. <laughs> How big of a circle? Mm, I don't know. If we had an angle to set the compass to, that might help. You know I was bullshitting that, but okay. The compass that I set to 60 degrees using the projector. <laughs> All right. I guess now I just need to figure out where I'm supposed to draw a circle. Maybe there's something with the mark that shows us where the center should be? Hmm. Okay, let's go, wait, let's go back to the computer and see what this flash drive, oh, hello. It's blue. Hmm. And a lot of lockers that I'm... Oh, jeez. This is going to be a nightmare to go through. I finally get it. That one was easy. This one's going to be the nightmare of trying to get through. Okay. Let's see what this memory card does now. Hmm? Look at the screen. Huh. It changed. Huh. Huh? That's weird. This is the paper with the numbers on it, right? It's only showing four digits, though. Well, if we read them in the direction of the arrow, then we've got seven, two, one, three. Oh! 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. Seven, two, one, three. And I'll put up green. There we go. Hmm. All right, I think there was a locker over here that had green buttons on it. I think. Yeah, there they are. This locker looks like the ones in the crew quarters. Even the puzzle panel looks similar. Let's figure out how this works first. Oh, uh, oh, oh, you cheeky minx. Okay. Gotta get a result that equals seven. So, five plus two. Wait. Five plus two. Uh. Oh, pff, damn it. Okay. Five plus two. That's seven. Two plus zero. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I do have one. That's not gonna work. That'll still equal five. Hmm. No, 
that's not it either. Uh, zero times one is, you know, just zero. That doesn't work either. Hmm. There's no minus, so this makes this a little bit more... Wait a minute. Two divided by two. That equals one. Mm. Yeah, one. And three. So, two plus one. Is that it? Okay, okay. Had a mild heart attack there. <laughs> Excellent. Unlocked. Good work. Now open it up. Hello. Disc-shaped part. Oh, that probably goes to that weird-as-fuck machine over there. What is this thing? It's pretty big. Maybe you're supposed to wear it like a crown. Why the hell would I need to do that? Because I'm the pr- Because <laughs> I'm the prettiest princess, apparently. Well, it could be part of the machine. And if it is, you probably need to attach it to something. Hmm. So I need to figure out how to open up this one. Looks like I need two numbers for blue and two numbers for red. Okay. Let's do this. A red clock. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. Maybe there's something... No, I don't think there's anything I missed. Hmm. Some cardboard boxes. There's some machinery inside, but we don't know what it's for. Hmm. Five, ten minutes. The blue clock. It says 510 minutes on the face. That's a long time. Oh, I'm gonna need my calculator, aren't I? Hmm. Well, 510 minutes, let's see. Uh, 480 would equal... 6, 8 to 48. Okay, so that would be about 8 hours and 30 minutes? 8 point, no, that wouldn't work. 8.3? 8.5? Hmm. If we are going into hours here, blue, 8.5. I'm probably thinking of this in the wrong way, but... Okay, I'm gonna need a calculator for this one. Oh no. I don't have a calculator! Shit! Uh, no. Hmm? Oh. Damn it, where the hell is a freaking calculator when I need one? 11,400 11, seconds. Okay, I need to convert that into hours. J just give me a second. Okay, so that equals about 190 minutes, and converting that, that should be about 3 hours and 10 minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try something then. This locker looks like the one in the crew quarters. Even the puzzle panels look looks similar. Let's see here. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to figure out. Ah, holy shit, I was right. Hours and minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So blue, that is eight hours. So, let's see. No, that's not right. Um, There's no multiplications this time, so it's just going to be me doing the additions. 2 plus 6, so 8. 30 minutes, so that would be 13 plus 17. Alright. And for the red, that is 3 hours and 10 minutes, so 3. 10 minutes. Uh, there. Ha-ha! 
Oh my god. The, the sad part is, math was my worst subject. You did it! It unlocked! See if you can open it. Sure. What the absolute fuck is that? Rainbow tree root? Huh. Wow, this thing is funky looking. Oh my goodness. Whoa, those are some intense colors. What is that thing? I think it's a root system from a tree. W what Come on! No tree has rainbow roots! I don't think it looks that naturally. It looks like- it I don't think it looks like that naturally. They probably painted it. It's pretty ugly. I agree. So, what am I supposed to do with it? I'm sure it'd make a delightful souvenir, but I don't think I'd make it past- I don't think it'd make it past customs. Maybe you're supposed to put it somewhere? Like... Well? On that machine, perhaps. Hmm. Do I combine it? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I solved those. So let's put this on the machine. Hmm. I think I can put that rainbow-colored root here. Alright. And do I put this on top of it? Rainbow-colored root. We put it on the machine. What do we do now? Uh. Huh. Looks like it would fit. Here we go. All right, now what do I do? Part of a machine, shaped like a ring. The line in the middle is off. Hmm. Perfect. Now that we attach the missing part, it should work. Wait, something's not right. What's wrong? I press the power button, but nothing's happening. Maybe it doesn't have enough power. Hmm, it's always something. Alright, then let's take a look around. Oh. Here it is! Wait, what the hell is this? Off, on, off, 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 on. There's a small hole and it looks like it was made with a needle. Do you think this is where it goes? Where what goes? Oh, the protractor! Or I mean the, uh, the compass. I'm an idiot. The sheet has on and off written on it a bunch of times. There's a tiny hole in the middle of the paper that looks like it was made with a needle. So, I just put the compass needle in here. Ah! Hmm. Off. Wait. Off. Off. On. Off. On. Off. Hmm. Interesting. So you use the compass to make a circle. And now the circle touches specific words. Maybe those words are a clue. Only one on. Wait. Okay. Off, 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 on, off, on. Hmm. I... Okay, is there anything else that I have to look at? I don't think there is. Okay. Wait a minute. Off black, off black, off black, on black, off black, on white. Hmm. What's this? It's got all these pipes. Look at the black and yellow lever. It says power under it. Do you think this tubing has electrical cables in it or something? Maybe flipping these levers will let us change the amount of electrical current. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing the power lever is the source. Hmm. Might as well give it a... Wait. Don't get ahead of yourself. Look at the 320. Oh. The lever's missing. Without a replacement lever, I don't think we'll be able... Oh. Without a replacement lever, I don't think we'll be able to do anything. Okay... So my job now is to find a replacement lever. Well, those things obviously don't open, so I gotta go figure out where the hell I would find a lever. I can't examine that. Also, I can't examine that, apparently. Oh, hello! Oh, oh, I 
see. Uh, oh. Oh, God. I feel so stupid. Okay. Let's get back to the paper for a second. Okay. If we're going around that way. On. Off. On. Off. 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 Alright. Okay. So, on, off, and then the rest off. I mean, on, off, on. Eh, on? Hey, I think you can move these. Oh, you're right. It says off on the top and on on the bottom. Hmm. The S Sigma, what are you doing? Don't break it. The no, it wasn't me. It just fell off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, it's off now, so no point crying over spilt levers. Maybe we can use it somewhere else. Like where? Oh! Oh! So that's what that's for. That's how... Okay! Huh. I'm actually getting the hang of this. Okay? Okay, if I just put it here... Good. There we go. So... What should I do with this thing? I found a manual on the floor over there. It says that this machine doesn't really use electricity in a conven con conventional way. Huh? Those tubes use some kind of special liquid to transmit electricity. Actually, it's pretty complicated. The simple version is that you can adjust the voltage by adjusting the flow of the liquid. So let's say you turn that rightmost lever all the way to the left. If you do that, then the all the liquid coming from 240 will go to the left tube. Turn it all the way to the right, and it goes all the way to the right tube. What if you put it in the middle? Then it gets halved. Each pipe will end up with 120 instead of one getting 240. So what's the deal with the question marks? Those represent unknowns in the target values. The one with three question marks means it's supposed to be a three-digit number, while the one with the only two means they, those are two-digit numbers. And of course, a single question mark means that the value is only a single digit. What about the one that starts with three? Well, I guess that means the hundreds digit has to be three. So, blank four blank means the tens digit has to be four. And blank blank five means the one digit has to be five, right? Yes, I think so. So, let me see if I've got this. We need to adjust the lever so the liquid gives us the right numbers on the bottom. That's correct. Once you've got all the levers set, then I think you pull on the power lever like this. Ah, oh, makes sense. I think that about covers it. Oh, wait, one more thing. The liquid will only flow from top to bottom. The manual is very specific about that. Okay. Let's do this thing. Oh, sweet mother mo mercy. Okay. So, 240, 120, plus... Oh my god, I'm going to give myself a headache trying to figure this out. Let's see what happens first. Hmm. So these two are correct. So what happens if I do this? Okay, that destroys it. Hmm. Ah! I can make this trial and error! Aha! Fuck! Nope. Would you guys hate me if I'm just doing this just to kind of mess around? I wouldn't blame you. Okay. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Okay, this is going to take some trial and error. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Huh. Wow, 
Oh, shit! Coolio! Yes, I'm a champion! Look! Did it turn on? It turned on! It turned the power on. Look. Uh. It's moving. Looks like it's finally ready. But ready for what? Well... Ready for you to use this, I'm guessing. This screen? Yeah, I think. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at it. I think I've got it. This machine is a CT scanner. You mean like from a hospital? Yes. One of those things that can take pictures of cross-sections of your brain and organs and stuff. Yes. It can image things other than the human body, too. I like this route, for instance. Okay. Hmm. Oh my god, no more, why? Uh. So what we're seeing on the left is a slice of that root? I think so. What are we supposed to do then? I think trial and error is going to be the best way to figure this one out. Just start messing with it and we'll see what happens. All right. Hold the A button and press the left stick up and down where the image of the root is displayed to scroll between the layers. The bottom layer has eight circles of different colors. Four of those circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number to each circle. The numbers you can use are displayed below the cross section. Grab a number with the A button and move it with the left stick. Here goes nothing. Fractions, it would seem. Hmm. Did it change? No, they remain the same. Hmm. Ah, can't take those numbers. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Four sixteenths. Three fifteenths, six twentieths, and a mysterious one. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out the common de denominator to make the factor frac to make all the fractions about the same. Uh, de oh shit! What the hell is the term? The bottom number. I need to make the bottom numbers on all three of those match up. If I can make those three match up, then I know what the number is for the blue one. Or at least the bottom number for that one. Hmm. Then it's just a matter of more math. Can you guys tell I'm not a big fan of math? Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this done off screen here, because I don't wanna I don't wanna annoy you guys trying to figure it. Hmm. I may as well keep recording, I guess. Let's see. Well, hmm. First things first, I need to get the 16, actually wait, 15. I can go ahead and jump that up a couple times. So, let's see, 15 times do this, 30. The common number that is in common with 20 is 60. And I can easily get that by multiplying 3 15s times four, which equals about 12 over 60. So then I multiply the 6 20ths times three, and then I get 18 over 60. Now the problem is, I don't think 16 is close to 60. I need to get it to have a zero in its number. 
So let's see. Multiply that too, you get 8 over 32. Multiply that again, you get 16 over 64. Multiply that again, you get 32 over 128. Go ahead and add an, um, another 32 and you'll get 160. 32 over 160. Now here's where the problem comes in. I don't think I can get 160 with the 15. Oh, fuck my life. I'm probably doing this wrong then. Or maybe what I need to do is I just need to get... Hmm. Hold on. 416. Go down. That's a 19. That won't work with what the numbers I've got, is it? It's not going to work, is it? 4 sixteenths. Uh, that's technically 1 fourth, if I think about it. Oh, God. Why me? I fucking hate math! I hate this realm! I might have been doing this wrong, I think. Well, mostly wrong. I shouldn't have been working my way upward to match them all. I should have been working, working my way downward instead. Because I'm thinking this may have to do with percentages, possibly. Like, if it's scanning this thing, it's... See, there's the 100. That means this is, that's the 100%. However, the color split off, and it turns into a fraction of what color is e of, of each color. So, if I put that into mine, this equals... One fourth, which is twenty-five percent, which means I need to do nineteen plus six. That equals twenty-five. So let's move on back up. Now I've got the green. Now after working my way downward, it goes to three tenths. So that means that's thirty percent. So I need to add a nine to that. Now for the red, I think let's see three fifteenths. That, if I make that go down, it'll turn into one-fifth, which equals 20%. Now with that, we've got 20%, 25%, and 30%. 50% plus 25 equals 75%, which means I the last bit is 25%, which means I need to add a 10 here. There we go! <laughs> I hate math. Huh? <laughs> Looks like I got it. You sure did. It only took you about 45 minutes. Th shut up. That's amazing. <laughs> Good work. Oh. Well, would you look at that? The color changed. Hmm. I wonder. Have a look, Sigma. Hey! It's the actual password I need. Okay. Sun, moon, huh, didn't realize we were playing Pokemon. Oh my god, next virtues, and the next friggin' Zero Escape game starring Pokemon. This is... I knew it. You've seen a password like this before, haven't you, Luna? Yes, in the AB room in the infirmary. It'll open the safe, right? Yeah. Alright! Good! Uh, get me the hell out of here. My head hurts enough as it is. Okay. Sun. Moon. There we go. Huh. It's, it's kind of funny in a way. The gold, the, the gold safe password was so much easier this time around, and then the actual pa password for this was significantly more difficult. Yes! It opened. And is that a Game Boy? Okay, let's get our prizes. First, we've got... A map. It says Floor B. The one we found in the crew quarters said Floor A. So did the one in the infirmary. Hmm. We came down here using an elevator, right? So that would make A the top floor. Seems weird. Don't the numbers usually count up from the bottom floor? Well, look at this. Look at it this way. A for above, B for below. Why does that seem ominous? 
Whatever. Moving on. Our next prize is... Let's see. Key cards. They have a moon on them. That means these are the moon cards the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AB game! They gave us two, just like with the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll take one. That fine with you guys, right? Sure, go for it. I've got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one... What the... Is it some kind of input device? It has a keyboard on it. And a cable connected to the top. Hmm. We can worry about that later. Might as well take it with us for now, though. And finally... The key. We can get out now! Yeah. They should unlock the exit. Oh good, get us the hell out of here. No more screwing around. Let's move! Okay! Will this bossy pants? Wonder what this room was anyway. Oh? You didn't notice? Notice what? The thing on the other side of the glass looks like a metal octopus. Oh, I completely that compl I completely forgot about that. I think that's maybe that's an an annihilation reactor. The, uh, annihilation? You mean like that bomb? Yes. The core of the annihilation bomb would work on the same principles. I think Fine knows a lot more than me about these things, though. Well, I wouldn't say that. I've just picked up a few tidbits of information here and there. Tidbits, huh? If it is what Luna thinks, it should be pretty simple. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there. Probably hydrogen and antihydrogen bumping into one another. Oh, oh shit. Uh, when they, when, when they do, they annihilate one another. That's where you get the name and release a bunch of energy. You can actually calculate how much energy by taking the mass defect and... Gah, stop! Too complicated. You're saying that octopus thing is a machine that runs off annihilation energy, right? Well, machine is a weird way to put it. It's more like an engine, like a steam engine or an internal combustion engine, and just better. All the electricity in this facility is generated by Mr. Octopus. So that would make this room... Yes. This is Mr. Octopus's control room. You gave it a name? Fair enough. I guess it doesn't really matter what the octopus is at this point. We're all done with this room. All I've got to do is insert the key. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's. I agree. Three, two, one. <sighs> Good. At least we're not on limited time like the first game where we're kind of like, oh, achievement unlocked, Masters of Escapology. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Huh? 45 minutes remain until Ambidex <coughs> game polling closes. What? Somebody already jumped into them? Huh? What, what's going on? Maybe someone from another team opened one of them. They must have found a moon card. Well, why the hell are they just go and open one of the doors on their own? We should get back upstairs. Whoever jumped the gun is probably in the warehouse. No shit. Right. Okay, let's go. Who is it and why? Why well, do I have this feeling it's probably Alice? That or maybe Dio? One of the two. Plot twist, it was Quark. Well, I believe we're about to find out. <clears throat> All right, get us in there. Need to figure out who the hell did that. We leapt out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Ten Miyoji, Dio, and Clover. 
Hey! What the hell is this? Why'd you open one of the AB rooms before the rest of us got back? Clover and I haven't done anything. Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. <laughs> you got a problem? Yes, yes, I do have a problem. Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was common sense. Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. What if they can't get back in time? No sooner were the words out of her mouth. Oh, good. Oh, thank goodness. It w I was right, it was Dio. They're all here. Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see? He... Uh-oh. What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. This condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh, no. Tamioji shoved K aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks then ran off after him. God damn it, Dio! Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Then Miyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stomped him. Hey, what are you doing? Did we already see this? Yeah, I guess we are. Yeah, we already saw this. Okay, okay. Yep, going over the Radical Six story once again. You mean in the control room? All that had was a bunch of stuff for controlling the generator. I don't think anybody would put medicine there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the archives. Books and so on in abundance, but no medicine. Oh, God. Then he's... He's going to... Oh, God, no. Look, just to be sure, where do the three of you go? Someplace called the Bee Garden. Oh, the Botanical Garden! It was kind of like a park with trees and stuff. Yeah. But... No medicine. Maybe some medicinal plants? Tenmyoji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! Oh boy, nope, I am skipping this. I am not going through this shit again. That was terrifying the first two times, and good god, hell no! I just... Jesus. Oh god, no, not Alice too! Jesus Christ, that image! Fucking hell! Okay. Okay. Ugh. No one here, huh? Damn. Where'd she go? No point in complaining. I just need to look else somewhere else. I turn and head toward the exit. Are we not going to recall that... That somebody went into the laboratory and maybe... They're hiding the Excel of... Why is nobody... Never mind. It's probably better that I... Stop questioning things. I would think that that would be a moment where, you know... Sigma suddenly remembers, Oh, wait a minute! I already experienced being in the laboratory, that's where the Excelivir is! Who the fuck went to the laboratory? But, you know, that's, uh... Probably not going to happen. The archives, huh? Hmm. Well, hopefully it's not like the Duke's archives. Not Doc sells Huma. Whoa! Holy shit, is that Sakura Tarot over there? So, this is the archives, huh? Kay Quark and Dallas searched this room. Yeah, that's a really messed up Sakura Taro. Damn. Nothing here either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. If she loses it like Quark did, and nobody's around to stop her. Shit. I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden, where Clover, Temyoji, and Dio had gone after passing through their door. Is... Uh... I'm guessing Fi's gonna be there. 
And so is Alice, who's probably mysteriously knocked out. Maybe. The first thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere, and the air was filled with the fresh scent of it growing, underlaid with the sweet, dry tones of dead leaves underfoot. While the air outside had been dry and harsh, in here it was warm and wet, like a forest after a spring rain. <laughs> Just like Clover said, plants and stuff everywhere. I walked slowly down the path, still slightly stunned. Most of the facility had been cold, dull metal, but this room was positively... verdant. Man, hard to believe that there's something like this here. What the hell is this even for? As strange as the garden was, Alice needed to be my priority. I reined my thoughts back in and continued down off the path and into the grass. I'd only gone a few steps when I stopped short. There she is! Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to take her to the infirmary. Then she's... uh... alive? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. Yet. So she's just unconscious? Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. R right. Wait, hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Just stay calm. What? Look to the right. My right or your right? Your right. Oh God! Another one! That's three bombs now. Wh what the hell? This... This is a bomb! Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the number on the side. It says one. The one in the crew quarters said three. Shit! And there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there is a two bomb out there somewhere? I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That means we're talking about an explosion the size of three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who said it? Clover, Tenmi Oji, and Dio investigated the garden. There's also a chance someone else said it. Anyone could have come here after they left and before we showed up. Anyway, we need to move Alice. Help me out here. Okay. Alice was lighter than I expected, and find I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Okay. I've officially seen three bombs now! Attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Yep. If I had called everyone else back after I'd brought Alice to the infirmary, seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh, no. No! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. It's a special antiviral treatment. Whether or not there's any around here, though. No! No! Oh, Alice! I don't want you to die! Please! Please don't die! I don't want to be alone! Don't die! <laughs> Clover wrapped her arms around Alice's unconscious body and began to sob. 
None of us had the heart to pull her off, so all we could do was stand and watch uncomfortably. Hmm. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, shit! All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. <sighs> In this case, that seems to be the best option. Ah, uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. What about Allison Cork? I guess we're just gonna have to leave him behind. No! I'm not leaving! Clover. I'm staying here! Like heck I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! She's going to be fine. I gave her some soap around. She'll just be sleeping like Quark. I don't care! I just... I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Whatever. She can do what she wants. Huh? I see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next AB game is Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally. Knowing Dio, he'll probably pick Betray. Which, I don't think I need to mention, would be pretty favorable for Dio. If she stays, he's got an easy round. Whoa, what are you saying? I'm saying you're the kind of person that'll take any advantage to get the hell out of here and screw everybody else over. You think I'm gonna choose Betray? Yes, I do, actually. You have a very bad track record of doing that. Except to Luna, because she's, well, she's a cinnamon roll, but... Yeah, I do. Am I wrong? Yes! Of course I'm gonna pick Ally. Ha! <laughs> Hilarious! Uh, but I'll have to wait until you prove me wrong. For one, Tenmyoji's gonna be in there with me. Oh, yeah! I can't just ignore his opinion and make my own choice. But you do have the ability to, and you probably would. Right? No, I won't be going. I can't leave Quark here when he's like this. I'll be staying, just like Clover. Hey, come on now, what is this? Knock it off, Dio. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. <laughs> what the hell? Why are you so suspicious of me? You screw- mm. Um... Yes? What if Dio stays behind, too? Oh! If Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio all don't vote, then everyone allies, right? Oh, you don't know? Know what? This. You didn't find a note like this one? Huh? Wait, what's this? Huh? We found it in the archives. Well, there sure as hell wasn't anything like that in the garden. Uh... We didn't find one in the control room, either. Hmm. Interesting. A note that can only be found in the archives? Apparently, only the archive had one. What does it say? Why don't you read it for us, Sigma? Okay. I took the note from him and, still slightly confused, began to read. There are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. Option. If both parties refuse to vote, then everybody gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. You see? Oh. At least one member of each trio must vote. Otherwise... That means Kay has to vote. Quark and Alice certainly aren't in any condition to. If he doesn't, all three of them are screwed. Wait a second. Kay's got 6 BP right now. His opponent is gonna have to default to ally. That means if Kay chooses Betray, he's gonna have 9 points. You needn't worry. I have every intention of choosing ally. Oh, give me a break. You expect us to just swallow your bullshit? I can throw the same words at you, Dio, honestly. Oh dear. Dio, please, think for a moment. You do realize that Alice currently only has 1 BP, don't you? If I were to betray her, what would happen? You would kill Alice. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the walls. I am not so desperate to escape that I would be willing to kill. Hmm. Therefore, I will definitely choose Ally. 
Indeed, I really have no choice. Unless, of course, I wish to become a murderer. I want to have some faith in you, Kay, that you're not willing to drop that, or stoop that low. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh, well, I'm going to find out. We don't have time to argue about this. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. Huh? What does that mean? What, did I use big words? Huh? It means this! I'd never seen someone move that fast before, let alone someone as old as Ten Miyoji. In the blink of an eye, he covered the few feet between him himself and Dio and slammed a closed fist into the other man's chest. Oh! <laughs> Dio fell to his knees, wheezing for air. Temioji waited a half second to make sure he was down, then turned to look at Clover. He's not gonna stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover! B but You and Kay are in the same position now. I've only got one BP. Just like Alice. Interesting. So long as Ten Miyoji doesn't vote, Clover's only choice is to choose Ally. Hmm. Admittedly, there is a chance she might kill me. Are... Are you saying you trust me with your life? Whoa. That's about the size of it. Wow! What the hell are you standing around for? Damn, Ten Miyoji, not bad! Get! You don't need to worry about Alice. Keep a good eye on her, I promise. Now get moving! Damn, he's spry for an old dude! You still don't trust me. N no, that's not it at all. I trust you, I just... Three minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. We need to go. Yeah, we, we might want to go. Come on. Okay, take care of Alice. She'll be fine. Well, you just earned some bonus points from me, uh, friggin' Ten Miyoji. <laughs> that seemed to finally satisfy her, and we were off. We ran as fast as we could, leaping through the doors and tearing through rooms on our way back to the warehouse. Jesus, I did not see that coming! <laughs> nice! Well, obviously I'm going to choose Ally. I mean, this is with Phi. I think I'm going to make a good decision with doing that. I hope. Everybody ready? Yeah. You've all got a moon card, right? Yes, we do. Good. Now let's go. Okay. Four AB gates yawned open as we swiped our cards. The fifth one, the one Dio had opened, stayed empty. The sixth, which would have been Alice's, remained unopened. Kay and Clover quickly entered the second and third from the right, and Luna and I headed toward our own. Hold on a minute. Hmm? What is it? You're going to choose Ally, right? Yeah! Y yeah Why do you ask? Of course we are. You promise? Yes! Sure, Cross I promise. Cross your heart? Cross my heart. You're gonna be in a world of hurt if you double-cross me. Dude, I will pinky promise you I'm going to pick Ally. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. Oh my god, this is gonna make it worse if I do pick Betray. Oh my god, if I'm gonna have to do a completionist of this, I have to pick Betray at some point. Oh god damn it, man! Five frowned but said nothing, and disappeared into her own AB room, the second from the left. Luna and I nodded to one another, and headed for the last one. They left most room. Alright, <clears throat> let's pick Ally. Since we're so close to the time limit, apparently. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. What are you going to do? Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I promised. I said I'd choose Ally. Yes, but... Ally <coughs> has six BP. Yeah. If she betrays us... Yeah, she'll have nine points. I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? I... It's your decision, Sigma. I'll be in the same position either way. 
What? You have 6 BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Phi, and she chooses ally... Then I would have 9 points. Yes, you see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. 20 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. That's it. We don't have any time left. You have to make a choice. Are you sure this is okay with you? Yes. Alright. I turn to face the machine. Ten seconds remain <coughs> until Ambidex game polling closes. What am I going to choose? Nine, eight, seven. You don't really have to ask me. Ally or betray. Six, five, four. This is impossible. Three, two, one. Okay. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Okay. <clears throat> Luna and I stepped out of our AB room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcement of the results. You chose Ally, right? Are you, you know sure it. that was okay? Yeah. What else was I gonna do? I promised. It'll be fine. I'm sure Phi chose Ally, too. Really? Come on. What's with you? Do you not trust Phi? No, that's not what I mean. It's just... Uh... Let's just go have a look, shall we? Why are we even talking about this? We'll know what happened in just a few seconds. You're right. Let's go. Come on, Luna. Even if she does betray me, I honestly wouldn't blame her. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. I mean, if we're thinking logically, in order for her to get 9 BP, she would have to betray twice and then ally once. Please direct your attention to the results screen. That's if the op never mind, you know what I'm talking about. All right. We'll end the episode here and figure out what the hell happened. Of course. Of course. This is payback for me not listening to Phi most of the time. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Which means Phi can escape. And she's probably going to do that. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Funny thing, I'm not even mad. Hey! What the hell is this? Why did you choose Betray? I thought we promised. We? I don't remember that. Wh what? You promised me. You said you'd choose Ally, but I don't recall promising you anything. I was free to choose whatever I wanted. <laughs> wow. You should have seen on. this coming. I told you I'd make you pay. And now I am. Yeah. That's why I'm not mad. I had this coming. Huh? I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about. You reap what you sow. This is your fault. You chose Betray first. First? Do you mean in round one? No, I mean the first round two. 
Uh, have you? She does have memories of the previous ones. She does have memories. Oh. Huh. You know what? I yeah, I had that coming. I I had that coming. Take a real good look at the results up there. This is round two. My vote was ally. Yours was betray. I didn't betray you. I've never betrayed you. Yes, you have. Remember? Oh, don't lie to me, Sigma. What? Drop the act. There's no way you don't know by now. Know about what? What's happening to you? The strange things you've been seeing. D do you mean the... Premonitions? I wanted to say it, but as the word formed itself in my mouth, I felt a tingle along the back of my neck. Someone was looking at me. I turned around to see Luna, Clover, and Decay. What are the two of you talking about? It's nothing. Forget about it. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You were the only person who chose to betray this round. Is there some connection to what you and Sigma were discussing? Yes, there is a... connection. But you wouldn't believe me. You don't know that. We might believe a lot. Uh... Fi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, and I could also see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. But, hey! Wait! I scrambled out in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. No! I'm not letting you go! What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us just so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, it feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Betrays your... Wait, are you saying... Whatever. Just get out of my way. No, I'm not moving! I see. Then you leave me no choice. As she spoke, Phi bent down. And... Leaped? Then she shot up into the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number 9 door, her hand on the lever. You- Nice try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. Bloody Tay. Acta est fabula. What? What? What the hell's that? It's Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. L L latin See you later. W wait Stop! A bolt of searing light roared through my brain. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Huh? What? You can't be serious! What the shit? Did it just... What the... How did... This game is going to cause my brain to malfunction and just stop moving. Altogether. Just... What the sh... Type of shit... <laughs> okay. Nope. Um... Uh... Oh my god. All of this is going to wrap... I'm gonna get to the point where all this finally wraps around in my head. I'm just gonna... Jesus Christ. This, this is, this damn story is, this whole, this, no, 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 this, this, this trilogy, this trilogy, okay? I haven't even gotten into the third game, but the first game mentally fucked me over countless times, but this one is just really taking the cake, okay? 
it t it it mocks me with my terrible math skills. It mocks my personality with trusting people a little too much, and then it just throw then whenever I try to get payback, it freaking blow balls me and kicks me right in the dick and then says, uh, ah, you can't have your revenge, no! And I'm just gonna keep on ranting because I'm just going to stop right there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to go scream into a pillow for 999 hours.